What's going on today everybody we out at the beach with the simplex gonna see if we can't find some treasure haven't used the simplex in uh these conditions in a while last time i used it at a beach uh you know i pulled targets but it's definitely a bit chattery in the sand so in the dry it's not nearly as bad all right let's see how the simplex acts I think we're gonna put it in beach mode but for right now we're running it in field and we're not getting any issues so I think the the beach mode there's a squeaker right there probably some foil I feel like beach mode kind of hinders what you can find out here could be false but if you're not having issues with uh, like chatter and stuff I don't use beach mode personally it notches out your iron so if you're not getting any iron falses or any falses out here then if i were you i would stick to uh, a different mode either park mode or field mode now when we get down by the wet that's going to be a different story so see what we can't find with the old simplex out here huh possibly another foil tone right here plenty of that out here but with the simplex guys that 18 I hope you know that that can be gold everybody that could have been a gold bracelet gold chain I know I had a coin signal over here somewhere I also have the vanquish with me so if I run into some issues This one's a 32 through 40. If we're running into some issues with the simplex, we can pull out the vanquish. There it is, I think. Nope. Oh. Where are we at? Keep on missing it, everybody. All right. <laughs> Sometimes you have to face defeat and just go in with your pinpointer. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be wasting all day on those, everybody. What else we got out here with the simplex, huh? There's targets. That ain't an issue. There's one. Coin signal. 67. I think this one's gonna be more of like a live style video. Now, if we spend too much time in between targets, we'll definitely cut it down short, but as long as we can get a uh, target one after another, I think we'll pretty much continue here relatively live at least if you guys get bored you can always skip through of course but what i like to say is you can always skip through a video but you can never add on any more time so 2012 penny that is our first coin of the day everybody you guys got any beaches out there near you guys get into the park or the field Whew, it ain't easy hunting this dry sand though everybody i tell you what So, we're sweating. Been out here probably 10, 15 minutes. We don't have sunglasses. It is uh, very, very bright. Check this out right on the surface. Absolute squeaker here. Got us a surface find. So you gotta pay attention out here. Even with your eyes, you never know what's gonna be right on the surface, huh? This one we're going to throw in our pouch for now. Before we leave, we might find a little little kid. Give it to him. A little bit of an iron tone. As well as foil. There it is. 
feel like you can pull uh, targets pretty quick though as long as you're being efficient so foil it ain't nothing to pull some foil if it only takes you less than a minute to pull 51 52 Is that it? There it is. What is that? See what I'm seeing, everybody? Little miniature cap. Probably to some alcoholic shot, huh? <laughs> well, there's no shortage of targets. So what do you guys think? Right now, Simplex is doing awesome out here, but we are in the dry sand, so... I think wet sand is going to give us quite a bit more of a challenge. Not sure what we got down here. I think I see it. Here it is. A little hunk of hunk of yunk. <laughs> a lot of that yunk out here everybody. I think I want to make my way way down there there's plenty of area here not too many people out here put you up real quick to show you how much beach we got to work with here now we can try to go in the wet too with the simplex the simplex is waterproof so maybe we'll try that out here in a little bit see how the simplex reacts to the wet huh right now it's doing awesome though Got a deep one down here. I don't know if it's too deep to recover. I think it's out. It's finally out. I think I see it. There it is, everybody. <laughs> some extreme junk out here but that one was deep down in there so i think that's like a fruit barrel top or something some aluminum foil but check out the depth on that bad boy that was probably i don't know eight inches nine inches maybe pretty good pretty good filling this massive crater here huh i always fill in my holes guys i don't know about you but Fill in your holes, man. There's an iron tone. We're gonna dig it. What do we got under here? Sounding like some iron. Here it is right here. Rusty nail out on the beach. Do people throw these out here or what? Something under here. This is gonna be a bottle cap. Can almost guarantee it. Just hear that iron tone? And then there's a squeaker in there too, but mostly an iron tone. So let's see. See if it's a bottle cap. There it is. Simplex. $250 machine, man. A lot of machines struggle to tell you that it's a bottle cap, but I found the Simplex does a pretty good job. So I think if I was in beach mode, I wouldn't have heard the iron in there because it does notch out the iron. So yeah, let's keep on swinging. Let's make it down to the other end of the beach. This might be a zinc penny. Let's see. Might be another bottle cap. I don't think so. Ouch. I was wrong. You know, it ain't foolproof. Still gonna dig up the occasional bottle cap. That ain't a question, but... bottle cap central over here there's a tent stake so here's what your tent stake sounds like I can see it sticking up out of the ground iron pretty much all iron let's get it so I can show you guys here there it is tent stake just turn the camera off and we got another one 73 jumpy though 
I don't know. Sounds like maybe something good. There it is. It's a coinage, everybody. It's the coinage. See it? There it is. That's our first dime of the day. Let's get on some more clad, huh? Let's get on some jewelry. We've been to this uh, place four times so far. This is our fifth time. We've pulled jewelry all four times we've been here. So we're going to have to pull some jewelry today to continue our streak. This one's a 20. There it is. When you're out at the beach though, especially guys, focus on those low tones, man. I'm telling you, that's what a lot of people skip by, but that's your common gold numbers. Still recording here. 60s tone. See if we can extract it from the ground. It's out of the ground. There it is right there. Don't take long to find a man once we swing over him at least. Sometimes it's few and far between, but that's a 2021 penny. Already looking pretty crusty, guys. The future of our US coins are not looking promising, huh? They don't uh, make them to last anymore, guys. And another 23. Oh baby, that's a squeaker. Got some type of color. I don't think it's anything good. Nope. Some aluminum foil as usual. What else we got out here, guys? Think there's anything out here? Is there some jewelry out here somewhere? Looks like we got a crusty old bullet casing out here, guys. Some uh, murder evidence, huh? Come on, old Simplex. What do you got for me out here? I said, for the most part, I think if there's targets out here, the Simplex is going to hit most of them. Maybe not, uh, maybe not going to hit that small gold too, too good, but. Oh, that is hard as a rock right there. Got a target over here in the wet. Simplex is starting to act up a little bit, but. 70s tone here. It's out of the hole, guys. No. Well, it didn't give me a very good inclination on that one. We got the Corona. Corona extra. I think we're gonna switch over to beach mode now, huh? So we're down by the wet sand here and uh, we have it in beach mode. And before you get too close to this black sand or the water, it does pretty well. I'm not getting much chatter up here. We're in the wet still, but Oh baby, we just found a rare on top of the surface. Ooh, baby. We on it now. <laughs> the elusive. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, yeah, watch here right when I get right down near the wet. Hear that? That's when we're going to start to get some chatter. So I'm not going to go in the wet right now, but it'd be hard to swing over this area because you're getting constant falses. So that's where like the Vanquish or really any multi-frequency machine comes into play. But let me see here now. We're going to set the ground balance down to zero. I've heard uh, out at the beach this works the best. It quiets it down the most. But I think also you're going to lose, lose some performance doing this. So don't do this unless you're getting a lot, a lot of chatter. All right. Let's see if it still gets it here. And it's still getting a little bit of sound, but it's not as crackly, not nearly as crackly as it was before, guys. And I'm one bar down from top maximum sensitivity too, so. Like I said, when you swing over here, 
I don't know if you guys can hear that. You're still getting a little bit of something in there, but it's nothing like it was before. It's not nearly as loud. But as I said, you do lose some performance. You know, you probably lose some depth, maybe some target separation ability. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is the simplex isn't the best machine for uh the wet sand though it will work and i could get in the the wet right now and hunt around i think i'm going to use it uh to its strengths and i think i'm going to head over to the dry volleyball court areas because i think that's where the simplex really shines so we're going to switch it right now back over to field mode we're going to put it back up to regular 90 ground balance Seventies target. There it is, everybody. It's a dime. It's been out here for a little bit, though, huh? Already starting to change that color. It's got that red tone to it. All right, guys. A little intermission here. I know we ain't found nothing too crazy yet, but we're about to switch spots on us, on you. <laughs> Don't have too too much time left it is hot out here we came out here a little bit too late in the day but we're hopeful guys stay optimistic we haven't found any jewelry yet let me show you what we found real quick give you a little bit of a halfway show how oh, it's weak this time uh-oh guys Check out this thing here. This is my generic Amazon sand scoop. It looks like it's starting to finally uh, go through the effects of use, huh? Not too good, not too good, but it's still working for right now, but I don't know how much longer that's gonna last. So let's head over to the dry sand and we'll meet you when we get there, everybody. Go for this volleyball in that area real quick. I have no idea what this is. Uh, creamy original made with real cheese. I have no idea. What is this, guys? Little tiny container. I don't think it was metal. I don't know what it is. Pretty sure some yunk. Got a little something doesn't sound too good under here. Did I see a shine? Come on, give me some jewelry, guys. I'm trying to keep my streak. I'm trying to keep my jewelry streak. Oh, baby, is this jewelry? Oh, baby. It's jewelry, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I think that might be gold. Holy moly. No freaking way, guys. I'm not going to get my hopes up. It could be plated. Let me see real quick. Dude, if this is freaking gold, either way. Let me see. See if there's a marking in there on the clasp. It looks pretty shiny. It says something. It says 14K right on there, guys. <laughs> No freaking way, guys. We're gonna have to test it to make sure, but oh my goodness, this beach, baby.